Our learning targets for today are 5.10a, understand that structures and functions enable organisms to survive in their environment. And 5.10b, identify the difference between inherited traits and learned behaviors. Which of the following characteristics is an acquired trait? Eye color, hair color, language, or height? I'll give you just a moment to think about that and we'll be right back. Students at home, you can pause the video and press play when you're ready to move on. All right, if you said language, you're absolutely right. You learn new languages, whether that be Cantonese, Chinese, Spanish, English, American Sign Language, it's something that is acquired. You must learn how to speak it. Let's continue. A large Clydesdale horse knows how to pull a wagon. He is also able to walk, trot, and stop on command. Which of the following traits did the horse learn? A, being large, B, having a long tail, C, having large feet, or D, stopping on command. I'll give you just a moment before we continue. Okay, if you said stopping on command, you're absolutely right. Very good. Which of the following characteristics did this young girl inherit from her parents? A, riding a bike. B, wearing a helmet. C, having short hair. Or D, having brown eyes. Okay, time is up. If you said having brown eyes, you're absolutely right. This is something that this young girl inherited from her parents. Most likely her parents, either her father or her mother has brown eyes. Let's continue. A large black dog knows how to fetch a stick. He's also able to sit and give his paw on command. Which of the following traits did the dog inherit from his parents? A, sitting on command. B, having black fur. C, fetching sticks. Or D, giving its paw. I'll give you just a moment and we'll be right back. Okay. If you said having black fur, you're absolutely right. The dog inherited black fur from its parents. Let's continue. Lentils are round, flat seeds shaped like a small lens and commonly used for food. They are related to peas. Christine studied several hundred seeds and recorded her observations in a data table. Which list below includes only inherited traits of lentils that Christine was able to measure and record? A, number of dots, size and seed color. B, seed shape, nutritional value, and growing time. C, pattern seeds, amount of protein, and seeds size. D, root length, number of leaves, and shape of pods. I'll give you just a moment to think about that and we'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. 
if you said A, the number of dots, size, and seed color, you're absolutely correct. Let's continue. So here's a picture of a duck. Ducks are water birds. There are a few features that helped us to come to this conclusion. In these pictures that yes, I took, aren't they lovely? These are pictures of a duck um, and ducks um, at the YMCA Town Lake in Cedar Park. Me and my family spent a Saturday out there for my son's soccer tournaments. While there, we noticed some really interesting ducks. And I wanted to share with you some of the features and learn behaviors. Can you spot some of the features of the ducks? Um, also, tell me or your teacher, how do those features help the duck interact in its environment? And what are some learned behaviors possibly shown in the picture? I'll give you just a moment to think about that and we'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. If you said that some of the features that the duck has are webbed feet, you're absolutely right wings, and we learned one of our vocabulary words in this unit was migration. Those wings actually help the bird fly um, when it has its instinctive behavior, when the environment is not suitable for it, so it will fly south for the winter. Its beak, so we know from its beak that it's able to strain the water and get the food um, out of the water, that's how it eats. So it has a, a flat bill and feathers, which we know are waterproof, which allows the water to roll off its back. What are some learned behaviors that you noticed in the picture? So yes, the learned behavior, actually this duck walked right up to me and my son looking for food. There was actually several other people out there feeding the ducks. So over the years, these ducks are not afraid to walk right up to people and basically beg for food. So that's another source of food for them. Let's continue. Which of the two puppies is most likely the puppy of the adult dogs? Explain why you made this choice. I'll give you just a moment and we'll continue. Okay, and we're back. If you said the brown puppy, you're absolutely right. So you can see that the hair texture is the same as the brown adult dog. So most likely the puppy inherited the brown hair and the brown heck, uh, hair texture from its parent. Also, it inherited its tail, its paws, and most likely it's gonna be the same size as its parent as it grows up. Very good. Let's continue. Many rainforest animals are nocturnal and eat fruit, nuts, and berries. Which of the following is most likely an inherited trait for these animals? A, visiting houses for food. B, knowing where to find fruit. C, having a strong sense of smell. Or D, doing tricks. I'll give you just a moment and we'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. If you said having a strong sense of smell, you're absolutely right. Great job. Let's continue. And if you have any questions, please direct them to your teacher. Have an amazing day.